In this video, we're gonna be taking a detailed look at the Heli Hansen low-key jacket. Check out packhacker.com for the written review and the best buying options, link in the description below. So this right now is in compressed state, the low-key jacket. It is a little bit larger in its compressed state than other packable jackets, which is fine because there's still like a little bit of give and you can definitely compress it and shove it in somewhere. Uh, but compared to other some other uh, shells of this nature, it does compress a little bit larger. That being said, I've really enjoyed using it. And I do like one thing they have here, that this is mesh. So if it's wet, which it likely will be because it's an outer shell when you compress it, still has the opportunity to dry and that's great. So there's a double-sided YKK zipper here. You can just see, so that's nice. This becomes the pocket when it's open. That's why it has two sides. If we pull that apart, there we go. And then we just get more of an idea of the jacket itself. So I'll set that down. If you wanna see photos again, just check out packhacker.com. We'll be wearing the jacket and all that stuff. You can take a look. Um, so you can see here that these mesh pockets are kind of on the interior. Um, I would have been interested to see if this wasn't a full pass through, but this was stitched to the jacket on the bottom. I guess it would be more materials and maybe a little heavier, but then that would create an interior pocket as well. But right now it's just kind of one sleeve. This happens on both sides. And that's the mess, the mesh that the, uh, the jacket packs into. So that's one thing I'd be curious to see. There are also pit zips on this jacket, which is really nice. Uh, considering, you know, if you're in a warmer climate and you want to stay dry, uh, that's, that's great. But if you wear a rain jacket or a shell like this, it's likely that you're going to become warm in that warmer climate. So these pit zips here really open up and really ventilate. I'd be curious to see kind of, again, maybe the same mesh used on the pit zips as well, just to keep that ventilation up. Um, but here it just goes completely open. I mean, if you have the pit zips open, I one time I just ran into trying to put this on and my arm went directly through the pit zips. So that mesh would have stopped it, but it's just a small like user experience note. Moving on to the sleeves, we've got some elasticity on the sides, which is a nice little feature. And then we have this Velcro as well. Uh, the Velcro targets are a little bit small, but overall I, I found it to be okay and it's, it's adjustable. And, uh, and good to use there. Now, one thing that kind of annoyed me with this jacket, I mean, there's a nice YKK zipper here. You have this snap fastener or button at the bottom. But one thing that kind of annoyed me while I was wearing this jacket, especially with other layers and wool gloves, is the Velcro here. So, you know, you have the hook and loop Velcro that'll hold this together to help block the wind and kind of create a little storm flap for that zipper. However, it does get caught on a lot of other clothing and then occasionally it can kind of get caught on itself. So when you're trying to get the jacket on, it can be a little bit of a pain. Um, I get, you know, maybe these snap fasteners would add more weight than Velcro does, but it maybe would have been a little bit of a better experience. Like I said, we're just, you know, we kind of nitpick everything here at Pack Hacker. So I'm just kind of bringing this up for you to decide whether or not you think it's a good jacket for yourself. I, again, I really enjoyed using it and I will continue to do so in the uh, month of testing. Um, Heli Hansen right here, you just can see the, the tag, nothing too special going on there. One other thing that I really like that they do is they manage the drawstrings up here. So you have these two eyelets that go in and out. It creates a really clean look. And as you tighten and loosen the hood, you know, this just works like a normal bungee and hook would. But what's great about this is that uh, it stays nice and clean and, and managed in there. So really like that, really like what Heli Hansen is doing there. So again, head over to packhacker.com for the written review. Uh, just go ahead and check that out. We'll leave a link in the description below. And thanks for keeping it here at Packhacker. We'll see you in the next video.